Today, Edmonton became the first city in Canada to make a tax subclass specifically for derelict residential properties as part of a larger effort to combat problem properties and encourage community vibrancy. City Council approved a new bylaw to charge derelict property owners three times the regular residential tax rate. This is one of many actions we're taking as part of a stronger, more comprehensive approach to problem properties in the core. And this isn't about properties with long grass and shabby appearances. This is about properties that are dilapidated, abandoned, fully or partially boarded, and generally unfit for habitation. Not only are these properties dragging down the vibrancy of our neighborhoods, they're often associated with criminal activity and can pose a serious health and safety risk to our communities. In the six month period leading up to the election, there were 281 fire related events in the core in vacant and derelict buildings like this one. Fires in unsecured vacant properties were identified through Edmonton Fire Rescue Services Community Risk Assessment as the most dangerous fire problem facing Edmontonians and firefighters. Not only are they unsafe and unsightly, they generate extraordinary demand on emergency services. A case study showed just 31 properties cost us $1.3 million over three years. So we've been taking action. We stood up centralized proper properties office, increased enforcement, escalated consequences, and created the community property safety team, which takes a proactive approach to prop properties by securing them at the owner's expense. And it's working. We've seen 308 securements, 89 demolitions, 238 orders issued, and a dramatic reduction in the number of fires. And now we're going further by introducing increased tax rates for derelict properties so we can continue building safe, healthy, and vibrant communities.